What's up guys, Justin here, aka MHero25, we're up to here at Duel 3, uh, with me playing Assault Mode Dinos, the versus, um, Zombies. This is our player Rod, he is notorious for playing, uh, for playing Zombies, it's his deck. So, we're gonna start off with me going first. I somehow run the, I won the dice rolls again, super happy about that, I've been winning all the dice rolls that day. Um, activate Misk, Banishing Misk, a special summon Arcosaur, Arcosaur effect is destroy a baby in my hand. Hopefully, if I didn't have a baby, that'd be weird. But I do. Uh, baby Cerasaurus effect after I add double evolution pill. Reading, uh, verifying double evolution pill. Uh, and I'm trying to do, I'm trying to implement my OCG way of playing where like I just leave the card that I added, reveal like the look so you don't have to keep asking about it. Adding Overraptor, uh, summoning Overraptor, Overraptor uh, effect on summon. Uh, I believe it on, uh, yeah, so this is double checking to make sure what I had in my hand, so, uh, going to add, I believe I'll add a baby here, if not a UCT, but it should be a baby, because I haven't normal summoned yet, I'm sorry to have a baby in hand, again, like, uh, hindsight's 20-20 at, at a point, so adding, uh, baby Cerasaurus, um, and again, we're using the Yu-Gi-Oh! Nexus app, freaking love that app, uh, popping baby Cerasaurus, special summoning baby Cerasaurus from the graveyard, then baby Cerasaurus effect. Jesus Christ, how many times can you say baby Cerasaurus before you get tired of it? Three times. Um, special summon a YOLO. I don't know. I, I, I'm debating on something here. I'm, yeah. So, when your opponent usually does that, when they just kind of flush their hand out, it's pretty much like they have nothing or they're bluffing you. So, Either make them do it or just keep playing. It's one of those things where, like, as a Yu-Gi-Oh player, it's like you just kind of can't care about it. So going to my standard play of uh, uh, Link Climbing to Link Rebo, Link Cross, I mean Hockey Firex, and there's the Ash, as expected. So either he was bluffing or he had it, and uh, activate one for one. And this is where uh, another fantastic scenario happened, where I actually had Psy Reflector in my hand, and I wanted to actually use its effect, so we're going to see it now. So activate Psy Reflector, uh, adding Assault Beast, Assault Beast effect to add uh, Assault Mode Activate. You know, one for one is one of those cards where it's like, yo, it can be really a good plus. Uh, so again, my field looks very strange right now, and as it should be, Jesus Christ, it's weird. So activate Psy Reflector's effect using its effect to increase its level by two. So right now I have, uh, I have the monsters so i'm synchroing into a knight to get into um uh, uh crocosaurus because i had uh six seven eight and the level one which is a nine so now i can draw two cards on top of that and he's just reading to make sure you can't use ash blossom because he already used it uh drawing two cards on top of that yeah and uh rod is not 100 percent sure but like i i know that's right so, uh, then activating a link, uh, especially summoning a link cross, banishing, um, not banishing, but, uh, using, tributing one of the link cross tokens to get link rebo, banishing all three, now to get IC imprisonment, overlay, and, and I was just, like, reading, like, how do you get this out? The effect is super, super busted, because I use the token, and the token does count as a different name. Uh, legit. <laughs> legit. Uh, so now I'm going to overlay into uh, Leviathi. Or that should be like my la one of my last plays to do, because if I don't, if I didn't see Nibiru at this point, I don't think I'll see Nibiru at all. Double Illusion Pill, Banishing Giant Rex from hand, busted, and Sire Reflector Engrave that is dead now. They're no longer usable. Uh, you know, unless I keep drawing another one, it's not that big a deal. Uh, then overlay in, uh, then special summon uh, UCT. I'm getting ahead of myself. Overlay into Loggy or Dolka. I think Loggy will be better here. No, so I'm going for Dolka for um, Mega Monster Negate. And then VFD. And at this point, it's like, uh, honest. This is one of the things where, like, okay, I have to be careful here. So he's going to activate Mothman. I'm going to do Call, Dark. So he'll still, like, uh, because I changed it, he'll still get his resolution of effect. So everything, uh, in the field in the grave is dark doesn't get their effects so uh he'll summon get to draw one that's fine uh with this board it's like i have uh the omni negate the 
the board manipulator and two negations for monster effects. I'm pretty solid. So it's interesting to see what's going to happen here. Uh, if there is anything he can do. He hasn't normal summoned yet, so he still has that option of a play. Um, what he could do, though, I wouldn't know. Because, uh, you know, Abyssal Lord does nothing now at this point. Uh, Exoton Knight could do something, but, you know, uh, Jack of Bolin is now being summoned. Uh, I'm reading Jack of Bolin. Because it's a fire, so he can special summon it. The effect in hand is still fine. It's on field now, so... I'm just like, okay, cool, Banishing Ash uh, to use this effect, or like, oh, and then he's doing Snake, and the summon of that, flip his whole board face down, and Token Collector, you know, Token Collector can be a very versatile card, especially against Generators and, you know, Hockey Firebrex board, but, you know, <laughs> in this scenario, it was dead. So I just use it as fodder, really useful. Normal summon, uh, Ovi Raptor, adding Misk. And, uh, yeah, the Lord is pretty powerful. What can you do here except just attack for three, three, and game? Because, like, that's, that's all the damage right there. And if you hear anything in the background, it's my lovely wife singing. She is doing her TikToks. Uh, yeah, she's, <laughs> she's pretty big on there, and I'm happy about that. Anyway, so that was game one. Jesus Christ, that was, um... A clutch game one just because uh you know combo decks man they they're explosive i i hate the fact that i i play those a lot more often than i should just because it's just like i hate i hated playing uh zombie uh what was it danger zombies at one point just because like i could make the u board with uh baladrock lock it was stupid same thing with um and Dimian Lock, that was stupid. And then now Dino's is another combo deck. It's stupid. Uh, if anything, I'm just glad to be playing uh, Dogmatica now, where it's like, it's combo-ish, but it's still very simple. The boards are still great, but it doesn't, it's not too much overly thinking. Like, freaking Sky Strikers now. Sky Strikers is such a stun deck with uh, so much thought process goes into it. Uh, so double checking some stuff here shuffling my sided cards in to make sure it's really random god i shuffle so oh god i'm power shuffling too you would think i'm stalling but i'm not it's just because like i i sided in a lot against his deck like i took out token collectors i put in like uh, a cosmic sight clone lightning storms i was just like i am not dealing with zombie world lock because it is not fun like double evolution pill is only decent <laughs> if i have a dino in hand uh so my opponent will start he'll set two cards so far uh what else could you do here uh set two pass draw for turn on mine and uh this is uh interesting interesting so we're gonna do here we're gonna activate lost world anything on lost world activation no Summon Misk. Uh, you know it's bad when you have to summon Misk uh, to get a uh, baby. To get not baby, but to get a token. Attacking the token, Lost World effect. To negate destruction, baby effect. Anything on baby, he has the call by the grave, which is terrible. Uh, but that's fine. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. It happens. Uh, so I do have a one for one in hand. Uh, I do not have another monster to pitch though. Wait, no, I do. It's it's easy T though. So, gonna pitch, uh, activate one for one, pitch UCT, he's gonna have Ash Blossom, sucks. Uh, I have double evolution pill already in hand though, and I have an evenly matched in my hand, which I'm going to set, uh, uh wait, nah, yeah, I remember this duel now, oof, this is when I remember a big misplay on my opponent and on myself, but I'm going to really say this is on my opponent's fault, uh, for checking, for not checking the board. So, uh, actually, my opponent, uh, I didn't set evenly match because I can activate it in hand, duh. Uh, he's going to one for one. Um, glow up bulb. Glow up bloom? Glow up bloom. Because uh, he had multiple ashes. And then linking for two for IP Mascarena. And then activating uh, Bloom's effect to add Bulladrock to hand because he doesn't have Zombie World. Screw that card. Activate uh, Allure of Darkness to draw two. Um, has to dump the ball of truck he just added so unless he has another one in his hand which would be pretty boss um active uh normal summons um banshee 
he's going to attack and he forgets that lost world does do a buff uh, does does a decrease to my opponent and then he summons uh then he activates uh banshee's effect to activate zombie world would have been useful if uh it would have been useful uh earlier if you could have gotten it out uh, but it's kind of like use useless right now so entering battle attacking over for a thousand damage just because uh it, it doesn't matter <laughs> Setting the evenly matched. I don't know what else I drew into. That the, the field now is very barren. It is in the tempo of my opponent. He does have one card set, one card in hand. Bloom effect activate. Special summon Balachuk. God, Balachuk is a pain. Uh, so I will get punched in the face for like a good um, 1,000. Then he'll link away two uh, and on and battle phase activate uh, evenly matched. So here is the misplay. I'm going to be honest with you. The misplay should have been he should have kept one other card but he did not see lost world and i'm not gonna lie i didn't tell him i didn't feel obligated just because like it's like i yeah I, i'm not gonna lie i cheated or i don't know this is where i'm like it's like the ethics of the player where i'm like i should tell him but at the same time why like why would your opponent give you advantage you know i don't know ethics of Yu-Gi-Oh. it's it's a thing you have to sleep with at night <laughs> so at that point uh and I'm not gonna lie, at that point, would it have changed the duel a lot? Possibly. Because he could have kept a zombie world, he could have kept the Yuna zombie, he could have kept the, the set card. But, yeah. So summon Baby Cerasaurus, Lost World Effect. And here is where like I activate Lost World and he doesn't catch it. And I'm just like, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Um, so Baby Cerasaurus will attack into the token. Ba uh, Lost World Effect to destroy Baby Cerasaurus. Baby Cerasaurus is special summon Oviraptor. Oviraptor's effect to search into whatever card I need. That's a dinosaur, so I'm most likely going to go into either... What do I have in hand? I see a double elevation pill already, so uh, I could add um, Giant Rex. Yeah, sending Giant Rex to Grave because it's already, like, dead. <laughs> or not dead, but, like, it has more uses in the, in the field attacking token uh because i don't want him to have another body on the board uh baby uh eating the baby sarasaurus with Oviraptor to get giant rex because i forgot i had that uh special summoning another level four show should and uh, special summoning another dino so it should be um misc at this point because that's the only one that makes any sense unless i'm going to aolo play to trishula him Ooh, i am going to trish him yeah, because I want to make sure I take care of uh, everything that I can. Special summon it. Uh, banish Baladrak is monster in his hand. And I take 27, unfortunately, to the face because of that. Freaking Ghost Mourner and Winter Chill. And then Baladrak's effect will activate as well. To, uh, yeah, and there's really no, nothing I could do here. Uh, that was a play I did not see coming. Like Ghost Mourner, that's super powerful. So I take 27. To the face on twenty seven thousand, but yeah, that's a that's a thing. And this is where I kind of like I I steamroll pretty hard in the other direction because that one play does cost me this duel because shoot ghost mortar it's good. Whoever thought that card was not gonna be like a sleeper underrated. So uh, I'm just doing the math. Like is that game? I was like yeah, that's exact game, exact game. So cheaters never win, guys. Uh, so we're off to duel three, and this one is, uh, we're both intense, we're both X, uh, XO, no losses, uh, it's a four round tournament, uh, and I'm not gonna lie, I was kicking myself at the end of the duel, which I, at the end of the tournament, and I will tell you in the next video, but dang, I was so mad. Uh, so we're siding out, um, again, this is a very weird matchup for me just cause, uh, since it's zombies, I have to be careful not to use Ash Blossom, uh, just cause... It's a zombie. He gets the effect either way, and uh, it's one of those things like, if you use it preemptively, it can really screw you over, and that's true of your opponent. Uh, it is. I'm sorry, it is a very, it's a very tough matchup for dinos, just because like yes, it can change everything in the grave, but hopefully, and but luckily, double double evolution pill allows you to banish also from your hand, but still, it's hard. Like, like once you're not, if you're not established or can do what you do you get really fucking hard it gets really fucking hard oh my god 
I gotta cut that. <laughs> so I'm starting off, and uh, my opponent luckily tells me that okay, you need to put that back into your extra deck. Yay! Uh, activate terraforming. Activate to add lost world to my hand. Um, this is another point in my uh, dino career. Where I'm just like, you know, true kings aren't that powerful. They are a little fragile. Um, over summon over raptor chain link one lost world over raptor chain link two or chain link one over raptor lost world chain link two so he gets the token i get a search that's guaranteed unless he has valor um sending giant rex to grave so this is a tell usually on myself giant rex to grave usually means i have everything i need or i have to set up my board a certain way to get things i certain things i need um, I probably misplayed here where I shouldn't have done that, where I should have let Giant Rex in the grave, but I'm going to pop Baby Sarasaurus to sp attempt to summon Giant Rex, but because I needed the target, and, uh, popping Baby Sarasaurus to special summon instead a Misk, uh, it should be Misk, if not, that is going to be a YOLO. Ooh, Crocosaur? Crocosaur. I mean, Arcosaur, yeah. Arcosaur effect now to destroy a Yoldo in hand. Uh, you know it's rough when you have to do do that. Jesus Christ, I was trying to get my baby. And then uh, Link Summon, or like not Link Summon, but add a double option pill. Check in the graveyard, see what I can do here to like fix this board because it's not really good. It's not really good because I think actually out of the trap cards I do may or side into, I think I either either that's evenly matched or that's uh assault mode activate and that would suck. Assault mode activate is one of the worst cards to uh get into. Uh so now we're activating uh Misk and Grave, Vanishing Giant Rex and Misk. Uh I'm debating on going for another four, but two is more optimal because that way at the end of the turn I can at least get the Petit Teardon. I mean the Petit Teardon and then get into uh Pancratops, which would be very useful in this situation. Giant Rex uh, will then resurrect itself. Uh, this now makes the board a lot more manageable for me and uh, more of a pain for my opponent because now I can overlay into, uh, in this sense, uh, Doka, Link Karibo, a uh, Link into Link Karibo, and then at the end phase I will get Pancratops. So I'll have uh, three interruptions, uh, so two negations, one pop of for destruction, and then a Link Karibo to you know stop battle. So overall, not bad, but it's it's not the best. Ooh, I'm going for Dwell there. It's even better because, uh, you know, this is zombies. You don't want them to have graveyard effects. That must be infinite impermanence because I do because you know, infinite impermanence is one of those cards where you have to use your player te the player's tendencies to your advantage or not. Because if it was infinite impermanence, I would have played it in the other spot like a like a genius. But if it is, I might have just screwed myself over on that one. <laughs> Uh, and then I pass return. So I must already have double. So, and uh, then on standby, activate double. Uh, activate Abyss Dwellers effect. So no graveyard effects for you. Vanishing Bollocock for a little darkness. Foolish Burial effect. Uh, probably gonna activate Banshee. He's gonna try and do Banshee, but Banshee will not uh, be able to uh, activate or resolve right now. Sets one. Reveals uh, dangers. Probably uh, Underbird. And yes. Oh, it's a uh, Mothman. He pushes Mizuki, then he does one for one. Uh, what is he going to discard? Another Mizuki. God dang. See, if I didn't have a Abyssal, that would have sucked. Uh, then he's probably. He's going to link away into. Uh, no, he's going to normal summon now his uh, Unizombie. Unizombie's effect to send. Probably gonna send uh, another Mizuki or Gozuki. I know, oh, Balachok, so that way you can get it back on the board. Uh, okay. Balachok is scary. Uh, but luckily, Dinos are alive and uh, Abyss Order is active. The board is set <laughs> to my advantage. Uh, so right now he's going, to act, he's going to attack. I'm going to negate the attack and then going to activate effect. Lost World effect. <laughs> You know, Pankertops, uh, Lost World is like one of those pro plays. Uh, nor, um, attack the token, token effect. Uh, Lost World effect, save and negate destruction, summon, destroy baby, summon Over Raptor, Over Raptor's effect will activate, and then Lost World's effect will activate, giving him another token, giving me another search. Whew. Yeah, that's a mouthful. 
So now at this point, he is going to link away into Union Carrier. So he's going to try to lock me out of the extra deck. Um, so he's skipping the battle phase. Uh, yeah. I don't know why he didn't do that, though. So it's very interesting right now. Uh, so time was called not too long ago, so now we're just like on a few things, or just like on a hard point. And this is where uh, being a Yu-Gi-Oh player, who knows his ruling, helps. Because my opponent says activate effect. He already said it in time. And this is where I'm like, yeah, you have to resolve that effect. Because it literally, if he had one more minute, it would have been a different thing altogether. So he has to, he has to resolve it because he said activate. And I'm like, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Special summons, uh, uh, I don't know how he got those two out. I guess he made them dark somehow, some way? But yeah, that was it. That was, uh, the game. And it was, in the end, not fair. But I also had outs the next turn, uh, in my hand. <sighs> yeah, that's rough. Yu-Gi-Oh is rough like that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed me calling myself my own cheating. And, you know, hopefully you learn from our mistakes, you know, like calling, uh, you know, being a uh, observant player to make sure your opponent commits to the plays that they say they're going to do, and also be be aware of your surroundings and time because that literally be, not because I was only because I was aware and only because my opponent was wasn't aware, I could take advantage of it and you know get the get the win in the end, which is you know a, a kind of a shitty way to win. But it's Yu-Gi-Oh! It's, it happens. Anyway, guys, this is uh, it for now. Uh, I didn't want to rush this one. I'm trying to make sure it's not weird silence at the end. Anyway, guys, this is Justin, aka Mhair25, signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.